I always tell my patients to walk, but I always add one special move because it does what walking simply can't. Most people, maybe you too, believe walking is the gold standard for staying healthy after 65. And for years, I believed it right along with you. I mean, it's great, right? It keeps your heart strong, your joints moving, and your mind clear. But I'm in the clinic every day, and I started seeing a pattern I couldn't ignore. My patients, the ones who walked every single day, kept coming back with the same story. They'd tell me, Doctor, I feel unsteady. My legs just feel weak. I'm so stiff. And the one I heard most, I'm afraid of falling. That's when it hit me. Something was missing. Walking was keeping them moving, yes, but it wasn't keeping them stable. And here's the twist, the part most people never find out. The problem wasn't their muscles. It was the connection, the conversation between their brain and their body. A connection that, honestly, just gets quieter as we get older. Think about it. Walking is a loop. It's the same motion over and over and over. It's predictable, and your brain loves predictable. In fact, it loves it so much that after a while, it just tunes out. It's like hearing the same song on repeat. You stop listening. And that's when it starts. Your balance doesn't vanish. It just fades. You notice you're not lifting your feet as high. You catch yourself watching the ground, not the world. And then one day, you hesitate, just for a second, before you take a step. That hesitation, that's not weakness. That's your brain shouting, hey, are we still sure about this? And that is where this one simple move comes in. This move is the one thing walking can't do. It doesn't just work your legs. It wakes up your brain. It retrains your body to think on its feet again. Honestly, when I first gave this to my patients, I didn't expect miracles. But within two weeks, I saw it. The same pattern again and again. People who were scared to walk without support were suddenly standing taller. They weren't walking faster. They were walking smarter. Their steps were controlled. Their balance was steady. I had this one patient, a 72-year-old woman, disciplined, walked every single day. She told me something that just stuck with me. She said, Doctor, I walk every morning, but I still feel careful, like one wrong move could throw me off. She was right. Walking kept her active, but it wasn't making her stable. So I taught her this move, just two minutes, slow, mindful. Two weeks later, she came back and she was smiling. Her posture was different. Her steps were lighter. She wasn't grabbing the railings. And she told me the one thing I'll never forget. I don't have to think about walking anymore. I just walk. That is the power we're talking about. When your body trusts itself, everything changes. You don't have to remember to stand tall. You just do. You stop watching your feet. You start looking at the world again. It's not about being brave. It's just natural. And it all starts with this one move. See, walking is linear. It's just forward, forward, forward. Your brain zones out. But for real stability, you have to wake the brain up. You need to gently, safely shift your center of gravity. You need to make your brain pay attention. This one move does exactly that. It challenges your balance just enough to wake it up. No strain, no fear just enough to remind your body how to protect itself. I want you to picture it. You've seen it, an older person walking carefully, small steps, eyes on the ground. That's a picture of a brain that doesn't trust the body. The communication is slow. Every step feels like a risk. Now, picture that same person two weeks later, head up, moving with ease, no hesitation. That is what we are restoring. So many people blame old age, but it's not age. It's not even weakness. It's lost awareness. The body just forgets. The message from your foot to your brain gets delayed. And that tiny delay, that's what feels like uncertainty. But here's the secret, the good news. That delay is not permanent. You can fix it. You can teach your body to send those signals fast and clear again. And that's why this move is so powerful. It's not just physical, it's neurological. A study from the National Institute on Aging found that older folks who did short, 
focused balance drills, just like this, improved their reaction speed by over 40% in just a few weeks. Their brains simply learned to respond faster. That's what you're about to do. You're not forcing anything. You're reminding your body what it used to know. And the best part? It takes less than two minutes. You don't need to change. You can do it holding a chair. You can do it while your kettle boils. It's that simple. When I show this to my patients, they're always surprised. They say, that's it? But then, a few days later, I get the email. My legs feel alive again. And I just smile, because that's exactly it. Their nervous system is waking up. This move wakes up all those tiny stabilizer muscles that walking just ignores. It strengthens your ankles, your hips, your core, all without stress. And it does it faster than a long walk ever could. Because here's the bottom line I tell all my patients. Walking keeps you moving forward. But this move, this move teaches your body how to stand tall while you do it. That's why I call it the move that protects your independence. Because once you master this, everything else, standing, turning, climbing stairs, it all gets easier. You stop thinking about moving and you start trusting it. Now, I know you're wondering, okay, what is the move? We're almost there. But before you do it, I need you to understand why you're doing it. Because once you feel this, once you understand, you will never skip it again. Every step you take starts with a signal, a message from your foot to your brain. The faster that message, the more stable you feel. When it slows down, you feel unsure. This move speeds that signal back up. It retrains your nerves. It helps your muscles and your brain finally start working together again. It's not about working harder. It's about reconnecting. Because strength by itself doesn't protect you. Awareness does. And the moment your body remembers how to respond, how to adjust, how to trust itself, that's when walking feels effortless again. So stay with me. It's time. I'll show you step by step. It's easy. It's safe. And once you feel how your body responds, you'll understand why I tell every single patient this one move is more powerful than walking. Okay, now that you really understand the why, let's do it. You don't need any special shoes. All you need is a sturdy chair or a countertop, something you can touch lightly. We're going to retrain your body in the next two minutes. Let's start. Stand tall, feet about hip width apart, and just feel the floor. Don't rush. Where is your weight? Is it even? Are your toes gripping? Just notice. That awareness, that's the first step. Take a slow breath in and a long, gentle breath out. Keep breathing just like that. Now, I want you to slowly shift your weight towards your right foot. Just enough to feel your left foot get light, but don't lift it. Hold it. Three, two, one, and slowly back to the center. Good. Now to the left. Just shift. Feel the right foot lighten. Hold. And back to the center. It seems like nothing, right? But inside, a thousand things are happening. You are waking up tiny muscles in your ankles and hips that have been asleep. You are sending a direct signal to your brain, reminding it how to keep you steady. Let's do that again. Repeat that gentle shift five times to each side. Move slowly. This isn't a race. You are teaching your body control. You might feel a little warmth in your lower legs. That's good. That's a sign they're waking up. Now, rest your hands lightly on the back of your chair. Slowly, slowly, rise up on your toes, just an inch or two. Hold for a second and lower back down, just as softly. Don't rush. Inhale as you rise. Exhale as you lower. Every time you do this, you are training the exact muscles that keep you stable when you take a step. Good. Now pause. Just stand still. Feel your body. You might feel a little more balanced already. That's your nervous system, syncing up. Your body is remembering. Let's add one small challenge. Shift your weight slightly forward, toward your toes. Hold. Then shift back toward your heels. Hold, slowly, back and forth. You're not rocking. You're teaching your body how to sense tiny changes and adjust. That is the secret to real balance. Keep breathing, in and out. 
The slow breath keeps your nervous system calm. And listen, if you feel unsteady, just touch the chair. This isn't a test, it's a reminder. You are helping your body relearn. Okay, stop. Just stand quietly for a second. Feel your legs. Notice, they feel firmer. Your posture feels a little taller, without you even trying. You didn't strain, you didn't sweat. Your body simply remembered. That's how this works. Now, imagine doing that every morning, just two minutes. It's like waking your balance up before you start your day. You'll feel it. Your steps will be lighter, your turns smoother. That trust, this is how you rebuild it. If you do this, if you are consistent, you will feel a real change in two weeks. Your legs will feel more responsive. A little stumble won't feel like a crisis. Even standing up from a chair will feel easier. Those aren't small victories. Those are everything. Walking keeps you moving forward. But this move, this move teaches your body how to stand tall. It doesn't just keep you active. It protects your independence. And now, you've done it. You found this helpful. You stayed with me. You reawakened that connection. You've just laid the foundation. And that's the sweet part. Because now that your body is awake and stable, now it's ready for the real prize. Stability is the foundation, but strength is the house you build on top of it. In the next video, we go deeper. I'm going to show you how to strengthen these same muscles, how to take this new stability and turn it into real, lasting power, how to keep walking safely, confidently, well into your 90s. You've already taken the first, most important step. Stay with me. Click that next video. Let's turn this new stability into strength.